Hello everyone, this is On, and welcome back to Let's Play The Sims 4. This is my legacy, Unplugged. And we are back here with the Dawson family. And first thing I want to point out is with the newest patch, something I didn't notice is while your Sims are away, uh, all these Sims are at school right now, you can click on their attributes now, which is something you couldn't do before. So I'm happy to note that the Sims 4 team is listening to their players and their viewers uh, to make the game as good as possible. So we can definitely look at things now. And that that's a huge plus because that's something I've tried to do a lot and it it, it was kind of annoying that I couldn't do that. Um, but anyways, back here with the Dawson family, we're going to get Charlie. I think she's in a good mood right now. Yeah, everything's looking pretty good except for she's uncomfortable. Of course, she is confident from our confidence painting over here. Um, we're going to get her just to spruce up this garden a bit while the kids are away. Let's just water everything and weed everything. I'm not sure how long this will take her. Probably a good part of the day. We'll have Eve help her out once Eve gets here. And I don't know if there's anything to harvest yet. It doesn't look like it. I'm not seeing any anything to harvest. And I'm having problems to clicking on that plant. There we go. Okay, so we can harvest some plants here. And that should harvest everything that's currently available. And these are showing that they're completely blossomed. Uh, but we did just harvest those, so I don't know uh, if that will restart or if that was just for the growth of the plant. And it'll continuously bear vegetables and fruit. One thing we did notice when Eve harvested, we did get... Okay, we can't look at her inventory while she's while she's at way, away, which is kind of unfortunate, but kind of makes sense because she can't interact with those things while she's away. So we'll go ahead and let Charlie finish that. And where do we have Jorge at? Or he's over there. He's conked out. Do we have anything broken around the house we need fixing? No, it doesn't look like it. He does need to finish upgrading the sink. And here we go. We have bathroom cash. While taking a quick break, Eve spies some money just sitting on a sink in a bathroom. Well, that must be at school. Okay, so she, should she slide it in her locker for safekeeping or just turn it into the principal right away? You know what? We have to save it. And our money did not go up. So let's see what this is. Lost money gets reported and the principal orders a full locker sweep. She is sent to detention. Oh my gosh, that's horrible. Um, but she wasn't the best student. As we can see, she was just a C student in high school. No big deal. We didn't get the money, um, but that's okay. You know what? Kids should not be leaving their money laying on the sink. So let's, what was Jorge doing? He's still sleeping. Let's go ahead and upgrade that sink like we were going to do. And his, how is his handiness still looking? His handiness is up to eight. Can we do electronic equipment? Uh, we could salvage into parts. We can upgrade for better components. Uh, so let's do that. And we can upgrade this as well. So there's a lot of different things we can upgrade. We've been doing mostly plumbing things the shower, the toilets, and the sinks, just so they're good for a longer amount of time. Georgia's latest classroom assignment is a group project. Her group mates are all pretty smart. Should she try to contribute as much as they do, or just let them do the work? Let's... Ooh, I don't know which way to go with this, guys. Georgia was evil, so we'll just let them do it. Yeah, why not? Let's follow... The straight A kids would rather just do something quickly and correctly than wait around for someone else to figure it out. They don't mind doing George's work, and she looks good at the end of the project. So we did get a small performance gain there. That's really good. All right, so we're still watering, and Jorge's up, upgrading our sink there. The kids should be out of school here any minute now. And let's just have Eve, uh, once she gets out of school, help her mom weed all these plants we have. Now, I don't believe her gardening's very high. Yeah, it's still level two. All right. So we'll get that taken care of. It shouldn't take too long since Charlie did get it started. And hopefully, as her gardening skill goes up, she's able to water and weed a whole lot faster. Now, one thing I did notice with the holiday celebration pack is in the picture, they do show Christmas tree and whatnot. So one, we wanted to look at that and see if that was available. Uh, here And we can see right here, gold shows a uh, new object. So let's look at this. And there's gold in everything. 
So miscellaneous decorations, we have a holiday tree. And you can see that right there. It's a very nice holiday tree. A holiday snowman. Uh, very cute. So you can make a nice little Christmas uh, type house. And we also have Hanukkah things, which is really cool. Oh, uh, that's not something I was expecting. And pictures and posters, we have holiday glow. Let's see if we can look at that right there. Looks like the Hanukkah candles. And in our living room, we have holiday wall speaker. In the dining room, we holiday table. Oh, yeah, there it is. That's very nice. Um, that's something that should be added, I think, in the game. I don't know if it would be possible with the programming, but just having tablecloths would be really cool. And then we have wall decorations, a garland, snowflakes, uh, more garland, and a wreath. So let's look at the garland, see how big it is. All right, so it's not really, really big. What would that go on? Just on the wall like that. And the wreath, we could just put that on the door. Nope, it's not letting us put it on the door. But we can, you know, I can't put it on that wall either, probably because it's only one square wide. But we can put it on ones that are too wide. But we can't put it on the door, which is unfortunate. And again, wall decorations, same one, holiday garland and string of snowflakes. So there's a few new things. Uh, you do want to make sure you download that holiday pack it does not update automatically and where did Charlie go she is in there watching TV I thought Jorge was fixing the TV apparently not unless he already finished I don't have the upgrade option anymore he might have finished it already all right so it looks like Eve's about done weeding I could be wrong <laughs> And everybody else, where is everybody else? They're just in the house doing their own thing, I guess. Uh, one thing I did read up on is a sim does need to be energized in order to work out on the floor. And as we've noticed, Eve was the only one that could exercise. She should have, I'm assuming, an active trait. And there it is, active trait. So she can work out anywhere else. But we would have to get the other sims energized before they can do that. It doesn't make complete sense because... We're going to go ahead and go to the gym. It doesn't make complete sense because we can use gym equipment, even though we're not energized, but we can't do simple exercises like sit-ups or or push-ups or stretches. But let's take everybody to the gym. We're all teenagers now, so we can all work out. Or he can stay at home, and we'll see what we can have him work on while we're at the gym. And I think I just invited Joe Sue. Uh, that was unintentional, but maybe he can hit it off with Dana. Uh, they have been chatting a little bit. And she is one of his, her only friends. No, he is rather one of her only friends. So it's always good to keep him around, keep that relationship going. Uh, if you notice, I did travel quite quickly. Uh, one thing I did read just on the upload, it's always good to read your uploads. Use the B shortcut in build mode to quickly do something. Um, M, if you just push M rather than going to your phone to travel or going to the street, you can just push M and you'll travel automatically. Which is really quite nice. But let's get everybody in here. Um, as always, these treadmills are taken. And they seem to be very popular. Let's see what we have upstairs. And upstairs, we don't have any exercise equipment. There's a little lounge area. So let's just use some of this equipment here. Uh, Eve is uncomfortable. So she can't work out. But we can have Dana work out. And... We can have Charlie work out, and maybe we'll just have Georgia practice punching. Can Eve practice punching? Yes, she can. So she could do that even though she's tense. Now, apparently this gym just isn't big enough for everybody. Uh, there is the advantage uh, in The Sims 4 of the game automatically bringing in a bunch of people when you're in any location. So you're never alone like you were in The Sims 3. So which was a big downside having the whole city or the whole town in one little area. Alright, so what's Charlie doing? She's working out. Dana's working out. Eve's working out. Georgia is dancing. Where is Georgia at? Well, Freddie's working out. So Georgia's the only one not working out. 
And there she is. She's dancing right there. And let's see if we can boot this girl on here. We need timers to tell these people when their time's up. And they could easily fit uh, another row of treadmills in here. I might see if I can do that a little bit later. Uh, but we did ask Ariana to move so we can get in there and work out. Now, I did work out a couple days ago, and that would have been episode two. But there were some sound problems with episode two. I was unable to upload that. But one day at the gym just wasn't enough. So we're here back again taking care of everything. Now, the first time we came by, the Freddie and Georgia were both still children. And they couldn't work out as children on any of the equipment. Uh, they couldn't use the punching bag either. All right, so Georgia acquired a comedy skill. Uh, she's just not working out. She is working out. So I'm not sure what's going on there. Now uh, let's get Dana off that and have her start running too. And wow, this girl's just really dirty. All right, so they're all going upstairs. Ooh, and something I just noticed is if you hover above somebody, you can see their age. I don't know if that option was there before, if that's something that's added, but that's good. Or that's something you couldn't tell before because teen through look almost the same. So you just couldn't tell the difference. Now if you hover, uh, you can see young adult right there for Lana Schreiber. Uh, we also have a teen here for Eve Dawson. So that's a really good thing. Uh, maybe I just didn't notice it before. Uh, maybe they did add it. I don't know. Now can Dana talk to Josu while she's working out? Let's find out. Uh, apparently she can. And I don't know if he has to go all the way over there. So that's good. We can work out and we can uh, discuss things while we're at it. We're going to push the limits with Charlie here. And Freddy, where's he at? He's right there. He's just hanging out. Uh, you need to buff up, man. Go ahead and keep working out. All right, so Dana's over here talking to Joyce now. Uh, I don't know why she stopped working out, but we're going to keep pushing her. All right, she's also talking to Omar, but I'm not sure who Omar is. Guy with the hat. So he's right here. He's an adult. He's a hat. And a ponytail. Oh, he's got a little mustache as well. Uh, we seem to be getting along, though, so we'll keep talking to him. All right, and Eve, she stopped working out. Come on, Eve. You go practice punching as well. All right, and oh my gosh, Freddy is just dirty. Uh, Eve probably went upstairs to shower. Now she's back to dirty herself up once again. All right, so our active traits, our fitness traits should be going up. We have two, two, three for Charlie. And one for both Georgia and Freddie. So that's good. And we, maybe we can get Freddie into a... Uh, I was thinking about a athletic career. I'm not sure if we'll do that. He is mischief type person. So we might get a mischief type job. But let's go ahead and have everybody go back home. I'm just going to push that M key. And we'll have everybody go back home. And where's our family at? Where's household? Here we go. I almost have everybody go back home. All right, so it is late. We'll probably get some people ready for bed. And we'll have Eve see if she's got anything more she can do with our plants outside. Uh, we do want to, if not, maybe we'll get her a book on gardening so she can level that up a little bit faster. We do need to get her level up so we can purchase uh, intermediate seeds for planting. And then I also want to see if we could just move all her vegetables to the fridge. Or if that's something that has to stay in the inventory. So we're looking for a new wall art. Try the microscope or observatory. Yes, you can get pictures from the microscope or observatory. The space pictures from the observatory are extremely nice. I like them quite a bit. And let's see if we have any options here. I'm um, not seeing any. So nothing on the flowers. What about the trees? No. Oh my gosh, what is this? We can evolve. After taking such good care of this plant, a little more work, and it is sure to increase its quality. So what is the current quality? Normal is that one. Can we evolve that one? We can also evolve that one. 
So I assume that's what the sparkly is. Anything sparkling we can evolve. And we're not purchasing seeds. Come on. Evolve. Now will this evolve all of them? Or do we have to click on each one? It looks like we have to click on each one to actually evolve them. So we'll go ahead and do that. That's, that's cool. I like how it sparkles like that. And instead of just getting better quality by itself, you actually have to interact with it for it to have a better quality. So we'll make sure we evolve everything we can. And she's probably extremely tired. And she also has to use the bathroom. Uh, so hopefully she can get all these qualities up. Alright, and that's a really cool way to evolve those plants. And the way we have Charlie doing. She is over here. She wants to plant something three times. Maybe when we get her next uh, seed packs and our intermediate seeds, we'll work on that. Uh, but she's doing pretty good on her moods. Freddy... He's extremely hungry over there, but we'll let him sleep. I do notice that bladder seems to be the biggest thing that wakes him up at night. Alright, and she's yelling at Jorge. She is evil, if we remember correctly. And let's have something to eat. Is there anything? There's nothing in the fridge? Oh my gosh. Alright, so there's nothing in the fridge, guys. Apparently, Charlie's been slacking a bit. And Eve, oh, oh yeah, Eve has a lot to take care of. Alright, so we'll let that continue. And let's have Charlie, she needs to make something. Let's just cook. And let's cook something decent that we can stick in the fridge. Any fish, we do have a fish, which is pretty cool. So we can use that and let's make party size fish tacos. Now when you have the ingredients to use it will lower the price of the food when you make it uh, unlike the sims 3 there's not a grocery store you don't buy ingredients you can only grow them all right but eve's gonna go use the bathroom and let's have her she'll eat some of this food when charlie's done unless charlie just gave up what are you doing charlie why would you quit uh-oh, Jorge's angry. Apparently, he doesn't like how his daughter's turning out. Uh, scavenge for parts. Parts are always good. And then throw away everything. And we're going to upgrade our little radio here because it keeps breaking and that's kind of annoying. All right. So, Eve, don't go to bed. Let's slow you down a bit, and let's see if we can get her ingredients in the fridge. What does she got? We have 20 parsley. That's amazing. All right, what is it? We have a mushroom. I don't know where we got that mushroom, but we do have a mushroom. Okay, so we could just slide these over to the fridge, and let's see what happens if we open this. Oh, we can see the vegetables right there, so that's really nice. Let's go ahead and move that mushroom over as well. You know what, let's keep that in our inventory, because I don't know if we can get another one of those. Or not. And she does have a bowl of cereal in her... In her inventory. These are all the frogs she's collected. Okay. And then we do have our gems that we want to... As you can tell, there are options to send to Geo Council. Or call the Geo Council about. So we'll take care of that in our next episode. Uh, but our plants are doing great and nothing's sparkling anymore, so they're all upgraded. I don't know if we harvest everything. Uh, it looks like we did. No, we didn't. There's a few more left. But we'll take care of that later. But we did work out a bit, and their fitness levels are getting a lot better. Uh, they're not quite as hefty as they were before. We'll continue working on that as well in the future. But anyways, I thank you for watching, and I hope you all have a fabulous day.